I would drink to excess every time I drank. I mean, it wasn't just one drink for me. I had to be completely shit-faced, blackout drunk every time I drank. I didn't realize that it was even a problem until probably my early 20s. And I started noticing other friends around me just being able to go out to a restaurant, um, have a couple glasses of wine for dinner, and then go home. And that was never me. I had a pretty normal childhood. Pretty much up until the age of 14, I was super invested in sports, specifically gymnastics. I think it kind of turned me into a little bit of a perfectionist. It definitely changed the way I viewed myself. So then when I was 13, I got hurt and I had to quit gymnastics and I was really just thrown into this junior high adolescent world and I didn't really have any friends. Uh, and that's when I started drinking and using drugs. I would drink to excess every time I drank. And I started noticing other friends around me just being able to go out to a restaurant, um, have a couple glasses of wine for dinner and then go home. And that was never me. I was so fearful of just like not fitting in and I had terrible social anxiety, but there was just no way that I was gonna stop. In my 20s, I really started going to festivals, shows, concerts, all of that. And that's when I really got into more of the drug side of things versus just the alcohol. I was doing ecstasy all the time. I was doing cocaine all the time. And it was just a big part of that scene. I mean, everyone around me was just messed up. There were a couple of times where I did ecstasy and it was actually laced with other things. I know one time it was laced with meth and that was the worst come down off of anything I've ever experienced. Of course, I told myself I was never going to do that again. And then the next weekend I was doing it again. When I was 28, I ended up in the hospital because I was having a lot of stomach pain. I was getting really bad heartburn. So when I was hospitalized, they were talking to me about my diet. They were asking me how much I was drinking. And of course, when you go to the doctor, you don't want to tell the truth. You want to just say, oh, I just have a couple drinks a week, even though I was binge drinking pretty much every night. What happened, I had given myself gastritis, which is basically when your stomach is so inflamed um, that it can eventually cause stomach cancer. And so the doctor told me, whatever you're doing with your diet, whether it's dairy, gluten, something is irritating your stomach and you're gonna give yourself stomach cancer if you continue down this path. So I tried to quit drinking for a little bit. I think I quit for like four months and I kind of got that you know, oh, I've got this thing, I'm totally fine. But when I started back up, I was binge drinking again because I just couldn't stop. I didn't realize that there was this like power over me. Um, and so that was really hard. I finally decided to try again to get sober. And actually the first five months of my sobriety, I was dry. So I wasn't going to any AA meetings and I was so anxious and just scared all the time. Every day I woke up and I was like, is today gonna be the day that I drink again? So I finally decided to go try an AA meeting. <laughs> and when the meeting started, they asked if anyone there was in their first little bit of sobriety and I was like okay no I've, I've got five months that's not me and then they asked if this was anybody's first AA meeting finally I got up the courage to raise my hand and they looked at me and they were like we're gonna do a first step meeting just for you and I was like well, I don't know what that means but that sounds great so everybody went through and they shared their story about how you know, their alcoholism, when they finally decided to come to AA and how much it changed their lives. And I left that meeting bawling my eyes out. I was like, finally, I'm not alone. I don't have to do this by myself. Um, from there, I started going to more meetings. I found an amazing sponsor. She's become one of my best friends. And honestly, I feel so free and alive and just like, 
happy. So I love to get out in nature. Actually, um, my higher power that I defined for myself is Mother Nature. Um, so any time that I'm out in nature, especially when I'm hiking, I feel most connected to her and I feel the most spiritual. And I find that if I'm feeling a little bit anxious or if I wake up feeling a little depressed or sad, um, I try and go for a hike or get outside. And I really just feel that extra energy um, kind of flowing through me, which is really nice. Now I am a PTA student, so I'll be working as a physical therapist assistant when I graduate next year. And I don't think I ever would have done that if I hadn't been sober, just out of pure fear. I was never really able to decide definitively on a career path. I really just wanted to drink and enjoy my 20s and not have any real responsibilities. But now I'm really trying to think of others and I'm super excited to help people through physical therapy. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. Getting sober for me has completely changed my life. I would have never gone back to school. I don't think that I would be this emotionally fulfilled. I'm not living in fear anymore. And all in all, I just feel so much more free than I used to, which is amazing. So getting sober is really scary, but the good news is you don't have to do it by yourself and I thought that I had to. So just drive yourself to a meeting. Just go and I guarantee you will feel different afterwards. It may not be exactly what you expect, um, but you just don't have to do it by yourself.